story is about a fascinating Zambian woman who is a trained nurse and cardiologist. She quit her medical career in Australia and moved back to Southern Africa to launch Tuzini Farms, a commercial farming company that specializes in growing tomatoes. When you talk about uh, farming, a lot of people don't take it seriously. But uh, to be honest, uh, there is a lot of money to be made in farming. Being passionate about uh, your work is a major key to being successful. And Maria Zilina Zalumisa is no exception. I love farming. Okay. It's a passion and it's a, it's a hobby. And farming is very addictive. I farm every day, including Sunday. I go to church though. It was uh, that uh, passion uh, that triggered her to revive her family's uh, half hectare tomato farm after her father became too sick to continue as its manager. I came back here and I wasn't satisfied with what I saw in the public hospitals, especially the availability of equipment. Um, looking after people, as you know, is my job. I also wanted a change in career. So I changed it and um, these plants are very similar to my profession because when, I, when I'm looking at plants, I'm looking at people. They need nutrients, they need water, they need food, and finally they make children who are tomato. With a small amount of savings from her old job as a cardiologist, Maria has now turned her family farm into a commercially viable and profitable business. I grow according to my market. Mm -hmm. So I grow for the, the supermarkets as well as just your normal marketeer. So I always look at the quality of tomato that I'm producing and I only take off this tomato when it's, when it's, when, when it's ripe and it's blood red. Dubbed as Zambia's a tomato queen and the nation's a youngest commercial farmer, Zalumis has her sights set on expansion. Mm -hmm. Today, the Tuzini tomato farm employs over 40 workers and brings in about $800 a day. Here on the farm we offer a literacy program for my workers of those who can't read and write because not everybody has gone to school. So I'm not only reducing their poverty, I'm also empowering them to go and get jobs later on. Zalumis admits that she doesn't have any formal training or background in farming. She depends on the advice of Remy Mainga, a crop growing expert on what species to grow and how to effectively manage the farm. I come down to the farm and do the scouting. Uh, I go field by field, try to identify the problems. And then when I identify the problem, we sit down with Maria and then I draw up the spray program. We look at what type of chemicals does she has in stock and what, does, uh, what is needed to buy. Mainga is also a farmer and he says as Zambian youth should change their mindset about agriculture and go into farming. To me, I feel that um, what we just need is empowerment to empower the youth to go into farming. There is money in farming than waiting to get your salary at the end of the month. In. Like any startup company, the Tuzini farm is not without its challenges. For example, price fluctuations, the weather, and getting the tomatoes to the marketplace can be a challenge. But Maria remains confident. What inspired me was um, when I came on half a hectare, I saw the potential that the farm could have. And I wanted to invest the money that I came back with in something lucrative. And farming was the way to go. And I enjoy it. For young people wishing to get into farming, her advice is to be willing to get their hands dirty. Maria's dream is to build the next tomato processing a plant so she'll be able to export her, her tomatoes across the region to other African countries and beyond. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Tuzini Farm, Kisamba District in Zambia.